Welcome to Top Reading Age, folks. Today is 5th March, Sunday. Tomorrow, Monday, 6th March. Let's take a look and see what market is uh, doing. So, as we all see right here, all the bears are sitting here at the 200 day moving average and market rebound. And since then, we poked through the 550 day moving average and market went through the roof, right? Also, all the bears they basically lost their premiums, right? Now, bulls are getting ready to trap. Right. So now what happening is, folks, we have a lot of data coming in this week. So first, let's take a, take a look at the technicals. See what happened here. So MACD is still in a bear territory, in a bearish trend right now, in a bear trend, bearish cycle. Okay. And the squeeze already fired up. Now we have a little twist in the game to watch. And that twist is we have a resistance right here. Okay. Now, the most important part is, folks, let, 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 let me first, first tell you, see what's going to happen. So this coming week is very, very important. Whenever uh, Jerome Powell speaks, which is on Tuesday and Wednesday, so Jerome Powell will be, uh, I think, uh, he's testifying on a Senate, uh, probably on a, yep, on, on Senate is 10 a.m. Uh, on a Tuesday and Wednesday, he'll be testifying 10 a.m. Uh, at the House Committee. So there are the two days for Jerome Powell will be speaking. So whenever Jerome Powell speaks, as you all know, that all the premium goes to the roof, right? And market will have create a volatility and you will be very, you got to watch out. All right. You got to watch out, see what happens. Then another thing is also we need to, we need to uh, remember the ADP uh, employment uh, report also coming on Wednesday. So that is also need to be very careful. And then we have a job opening, uh, which is JOLT. Uh, data also coming out so that also be on Wednesday so Wednesday has a lot of uh, report coming out so keep that thing in and then Thursday would be jobless claim data also coming out right and then the Friday will be unemployment report is coming out so this week we have a lot of things are happening to watch so market creates some sort of headlines and we'll see whatever it creates all right so what near term market is doing right right here we also we are now through the roof market looking bullish for this cycle is right here we have resistance so we market stopped at the resistance right so let's take a look we still make it in a bear territory so what let's take a look and see what happened market previously before like that right so for example you have a bear territory like like the market going down 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 everybody compress here and then kaboom boom went up pre-market right market went all the way up and all these bears right here all the bear they lost the money and then market went down again so this kind of strategy they do like same thing here market is in a bear territory look market going down 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 right here all the bear trapped and then four days they take it up all the way to the resistance right here like this so same thing the kind of activity we are still in a bear territory it's just the just the machine he just kicking in and then it go through this kind of trap right all right so let's understand short term so i need to go and take a look at the short term see what market market is doing all right so there will be a lot of bulls and bears in the market so we're going to analyze bull side and bear side okay be a little uh you know give a little time okay all the bulls and bear so if you can take a look and see what happened here market is resistance right here we have market close at the resistance right here but what do you see here there's a gap at two four or seven we have 408, we have 407 register at the gap. So market going to get, fill the gap probably most like that. So retailers are looking at the gap. Remember this, so this could be a mouse trap, God knows. But whenever the market breaks the channel, like this, this is the channel right here. If the downward channel market breaks, is bullish and go and test the next resistance. That's the technicals. Does not mean technical is always true. Technical breakout, it could be fake out, it can anything happen, but this is a major breakout so if that happens and market wants to create a trap for the, all the bulls absolutely just like they did this they could do this and all the bull could be excited now those who are holding hopes and is going to go to the moon and then they can be trapped also folks market creates all kind of things so i explain you we have now not this week but next week we have a cord which month folks cord which month option expiry friday 17th Friday. So if market wants to continue, create a solid bull, bull trap, they can take it up here and then create a trap and then take a reversal. Either that could happen or they could do it this week and create a bull tomorrow and then dump it on a Tuesday, Wednesday when Jerome Powell is speaking and all the bull will be sitting at the top and we can go reversal, right? And break the 
so this is what could happen is let me let me explain you so if you take a look at here so anytime you want to break all the moving averages folks you need a power so market bounce the higher it bounce easier to break right that's what normally does that if whenever market want to break uh, any moving averages these are a bunch of moving averages here folks it's not that easy going to break right so if, if, if you are a bear and you think man market should go down so in this case market did try to jump now when market goes higher is more easier to go and break the floor anytime bounce you know if the market is sitting here and to break is not easy on a during the daytime right that's the reason market jump in it could break also that's the scenario we are laying out we we don't trade what we think we trade what we see so market has creating now fresh week starting lots of new premium loading up people right so market will be bullish bear is lot of bulls and bear so market would swing to if market swing little bit then bulls get excited and bear get excited both buy calls and puts that's how market does in the more monday tuesday or expensive premiums folks right monday tuesday expensive premium so if they swing they make more money premiums are right so that's why you need to keep it in mind and then the option expiry comes nearby and then they play dirty games all right so that's why you need to <laughs> keep it in mind all right let's take a look at the sh short term see what the what the demand supply looks like right now so as you can see right here there's a gap here at uh, 407 uh, supply zone right here but we are at the resistance right here as you can see 404 right here with the market trying to poke through the resistance we could go higher next one is 407 that's your gap to fill and then go to 4, 410 right here but these are the bull scenario folks okay right now the fresh week start whenever fresh week starts if you are a bull remember folks market market maker create a bulls and bear both excitement all right so watch out that excitement also and then we have the wednesday jerome powell tuesday wednesday jerome powell speaking so a lot more volatility a lot more caveat in between because nobody knows jerome powell speaks and how what market maker um, you know which direction they run that's the that's the point to watch instead of just going for you know first let the general powell speak and let the market maker create the agenda down south or or north that's what we need to watch so going first is not a good idea on here there'll be expensive premium too so watch out that's what i can tell you but let's take a look at the see what the 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 the, the data look like right now current right so if you take a look at the system and uh, we have a lot of activity going on folks right now okay so what are the what are the machine look like right now you say the flat tape is almost 26 billion cell uh, coming in uh, right uh, out of that 20 billions are s&p 500 cell flat tape says and the up tape is also 1 billion cell is there and down tape is 62 billion cell so there is something cooking in underneath so there's a lot more activity might happen keep it in mind but what is this chart says right here you see these charts this says the machines okay machine is already ran up here and the market is down here so now to market to catch up either machine sell back and catch up with this right or machine go and market go and leave the market and go higher there are two things can happen 420 if you want to catch up with this which is machine sitting right here at the top right here market machine went up all the way then market is here right here at 4000 so let's see what how the market will behave in coming month this is this is almost like a look month folks okay these are month so we got to give a little time but i think if if market doesn't find the buyers right then machine could go and sell and we could go down so that's what i would think in a month or so we could sell off folks okay because they got to go together so this could happen uh, but we got to give some time this is not a weekly folks okay this is monthly things to watch for it so that's why this is weekly what our data looks like to us look like to me so we'll see what market brings in and um, other than that let me let me let me see here macd is already crossed here okay but that's too early to look into it so uh, that's it i would uh, folks it's a, it's a monday okay you have to you have to give a time and jerome powell speaking man he when that man speaks market flies high <laughs> remember that when he speaks market goes higher all right but 
four out of ten, uh, I would say six out of ten time market goes higher. Sometime it market also dumb because you know we have a bearish cycle going on right now. That's why. So because we already had a bull, bull could be trapped. Also market could create that trap too. Well, let's see whatever market does. But folks, tomorrow so the class update. So tomorrow would be a tape reading class. So those who wants to enroll for tape reading, which will be tomorrow, but only few student, only the people who already took the pre, um, uh, basic class, they qualify for this. Tape reading is a extra advanced uh, class. So if you want to, tomorrow 6 p.m. would be tape reading intraday, intraday tape reading, Monday. And then Tuesday, sorry, Tuesday are right here. Tuesday would be intraday trading class. This is the class which is very important, folks. Okay, so this class would be on Tuesday. I am I'm gonna talk to you about this class. I just edit a lot of other content in this class, so you know, but definitely this class would be on Tuesday. Yeah, so see you guys on uh, tomorrow morning. And if you want to join the community, we are I'm everyday live folks on t YouTube right here, morning 9 30 to 4 p.m. Join this community, seven hours every day live. I share my desk, I share my trades right here. Okay, so if you want to join the community, top trading edge right here, YouTube it, top trading edge, and you can join. It's so free, folks, okay? So see you tomorrow morning, 9.30 to 4. Thanks, bye.